Tracy, in a shocking twist, the fridge malfunction here at UH was one of two that occurred on the same day. Tonight, cross-country conversations are taking place between Cleveland and San Francisco to see if there are any connections. Right now, University Hospitals is not telling us how the malfunction at its fertility clinic occurred. Meantime, doctors in California are keeping close watch on developments in their investigation. The group that we work with who's investigating this uh, is in direct contact with Cleveland to look for any kind of comparisons or anything we can learn. Dr. Carl Herbert is the president and medical director at the Pacific Fertility Center in San Francisco. Staff at his facility stunned after a pair of nitrogen storage tanks failed, leaving eggs and embryos vulnerable. It would be incredibly unusual for this to happen within a span of the week. In the California case, up to 500 patients may be affected, but Herbert tells us there's some good news to emerge. We have viable embryos. While UH has not revealed what it's doing now to prevent a similar problem in the future, we are getting an idea, based on the fertility clinic in California, what might be occurring behind the scenes. People are, are planning their families based on this technology. So we've actually ordered a third alarm system for every tank that's separate from the tank. So it's going to be an independent alarm system that we hope will help us. But we've looked at all of our SOPs. We've looked at all the things that, that we can possibly do. And uh, if we can improve, that's what we're going to do. Now tonight, Herbert tells us that in his 35 years of cryopreservation, it is an unusual event to have two clinics and two liquid nitrogen storage tanks where the tissues failed. News 5, of course, is going to keep you updated on this developing story.